Uh, Don't worry, I have a task force coming in a bit to clean up the rest. We should move uh, before the runners get back to Gul'dan. While we were playing with Falfar, I've located the perfect position for an, an assault outpost. Follow me and we can get this base started. Damn, that Vangari apparently uses a lot of glitter. It's just like flowing, uh, flowing behind her. I see, that's a ton. Lion's Watch. Hmm, convenient to name the place, considering you know the lions are putting up a keeper. It's funny, it's all. Basically making the joke, it's funny, it's already called Lion's Watch, even though it's not built yet. Eh. Poor joke. Uh, excellent location, good field to fire, excellent recon route. I recommend planting your banner here, Commander. Apparently there's a lot of samey dailies we get in this. Um, nothing, like the new quests aren't very that great. Orders, there's dailies, but there's shite dailies. So, is that really any better? I would argue no. These wimps lugging wood around the jungle keep talking about the danger, how dangerous it is. You know, between the Ravenger den to the south, the raptors that stalk uh, Zor Zomarash. Hey, even the beach creatures are poddling septite. What do you, what do you say, you and I do a little, uh, little hunt? Collect teeth from all beasts. The bigger the beast, the more teeth. Uh, meet me back here, and we'll compare our haul. So hundred teeth, and I uh, get hundred claws, which are very sharp and durable. For some use. I have the latest uh, reports from Rigari right here, Commander. Where shall we strike? The easy world? part is the easy part is done. Now comes comes the hard part. Again, remember I was saying about the fan art. <sighs> hard time with the hard part. Well, please be careful. One second. Handed the Prophet? Ah. N uh, new rep faction, I guess. Uh, I just actually saw this rather than this, so yeah. Gul'dan's army waits within the armored wall to how far Citadel. What horrors lie within? We've yet to find out. Uh, we don't have YouTube out here. No internet access, so we can't watch guides. We're fucked. Uh, our forces here at the Lion's Watch will hold back the demonic threat until the last of us falls. Battle for the West. Our base is barely built, and already the Iron Horde sets up defenses against us. Still, the plan worked, and we fight on two fronts. We ma I've received word that Exarch Maladar has breached the outer uh, the western gates as well, but is bogged down in a pitched battle. You should go see for yourself. Commander, we've received reports from the shipyard that things are getting serious. Can you head back to Lunarfall and check in with Merrick? Every ship we build gives us an advantage over the Iron, uh, Gul'dan's new horde. We must hold on to our faith. Alright, I have to head back. Let's get to five points and then I'll get a few more quests. Oh, excuse me. The differences that seem so uh, that set the Iraqa apart for years seem so trivial today. We've squandered the might of our people in fear and mistrust of one another when we should have been looking beyond the safety of Skyreach. There's nothing to be done about the past, but know that there are some who wish for our people to be more than a footnote to what Gul'dan has wrought. I will help you, Paladin. We must all help one another now, or this world is doomed. A noble power. 
the one they call Gul'dan has ruined its own people. Now he seeks to ruin what remains of mine as well. The fallen outcast at Karnak have already pledged themselves to Gul'dan and a false promise of a return to the skies. He's given the most powerful of his minions the power of the Apexus, but in a twisted way that I cannot explain. Bring me one of these fragments. Again, one second. Alright. Um, I have to get a fellow corrupted Apexus fragment from any treasure or rare or rare elite creature in Tanan Jungle. Uh, 15,000. Well, 1,500. 15,000 is adds an extra zero, I think. Bring the reinforcements. Uh, greetings, Commander. With all the fighting concentrated here in Tanan, we've got the breeding room to divert some of our resources from nearby outposts to help make headway. Let me know which reinforcements to call, and I'll get them here on the double. Oh, Order the Awakened, a new rep faction. Uh, sir, we built a vehicle to bypass the Horde's camp and take you to the drone, the throne of Kojaden. There's one problem. The concentration of fell energy up there is causing the navigation system to go haywire. I need you to plant some sensors along the edge of the summit. With them in place, we can say well as the flight controls. Just make uh, sure to have some friends with you. The demons up there look especially vicious. Hey folks, sorry, just had to stop for a second. Uh, sure. Cold arms. So now I can use cult arms here. Great. I'm always here if you ever want to change your mind. Uh, okay, I have to head here. You bring news. And send me back. Waterfall Alliance. Shadow Moon Valley. Let's head back here. At least if I go back here, I can deal with the other thing. Ooh, what's that? I have no idea. Could be something cool. Vault of the Earth. Zormash. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck. Personally, I'm kind of waiting for fell infused, you know, the fungal joints. I'm kind of waiting for that. Just because of how messed up that would be. Is that cave still here? You know, the useless one. Or reasonless one. Or maybe it's just due to the legendary quest and I just haven't gotten on to it yet, I guess. I don't know. Alright, let's uh, try and navigate around while invisible. And seemed to not fall and you know, kill my horse. <sighs> oh, on me. Here. Annoyingly, I have to check how it sounds. So, one sec. Hey, folks. Uh, meander, meander, meander this way. That was a misclick. I was trying to hit auto run. They just have to keep meandering. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Fish, you're level 90. You're nothing to me. At least Delvar killed it for me. Uh, 
twiddle my thumbs, twiddle me thumbs. People are saying how convenient this place is to get to. I think I just want the inconvenient way. Keep me meandering. No, it's the orc isn't there. Maybe he's up here. <sighs> we've been waiting for you, Commander. Naval Commander, we've come a long way in a short time with the shipyard pound on. Now it's time to run our first naval mission and control the seas of Draenor. I will set up shop from a high vantage point to plan out the seafaring missions. You meet uh, near the shipyard entrance and we can get the target. If this guy can teleport, then why isn't he just, you know, teleporting in, shanking go down, teleporting out? You know, problem solved. Sup supply pickup. Our forward outpost has additional blueprints drafted up and a prototype ship. Uh, take the transport out and load up the shipment. And then chance with five XP. Uh, five, yeah. Uh, so this will get ten XP from this. Need five thousand upgrade. Woo. And my fleet can be as big as six. And I can get apparently uh, two slots for equipment, one a rare and one an epic. Anyway. 30 seconds, well 29 I think. So we twiddle our thumbs for the next, next half a minute. Uh, you can get some good thumb twiddling done in those time, in that time. Honestly, with waiting for the raid and all that, you could get some good random, you know, busy work done. Well, maybe not busy work, but I'm thinking of take, take up fletching. Take up... Anything. <laughs> So insignificant it doesn't even appear on the bar. Great work, Commander. You're going to make a great captain one day. It's not a step down. <laughs> well done. Well done, Pope. You'll make a one good bishop someday. Just joking. Uh, one battle does not win the war, Commander. Unless it's a really badass battle. That transport isn't going to hold up long against this. Iron Horde Navy. We're going to need another ship. Luckily for us, oh, the smuggler has supplied us with the plans we need to destroy to build destroyers. Why didn't the orc give us some? Apparently, he got some of the best blueprints, which implied for uh, ships. We should construct one of these ships immediately. So now I have to meander all the way over to the dry dock. I have to go out here. No, I can't. Yeah, I have to meander all the way over here. For some reason there's tanks being built or maintained here. This seems kind of strange considering this is the dock and not, you know, tank yard. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I was just curious what they're named. Ah, cool. And the blueprints there. First destroyer, start. Now we have to twiddle our thumbs for a minute. Exciting thumb twiddling action. In 6.2.2, .2, it'll be easier for me to catch up because I just have to keep running some of Hexus dailies and I'll get some tokens towards um, completing the, uh, the legendary quest and at the same time I'll still try to run the raids. How frequently I will be able to do it though, I don't know. 
There's also a catch-up mechanic for high mall as well. At least since they built, uh, built such a shit, shit system, at least they have a way of, you know, surviving it. Okay. Got it. Destroyer. Uh, shouldn't its wheel be moving? I think something's bugged. Moira's hammer. Ooh. Judging from the name, yep, dwarves. It means 100% more gold per mission. One sec. Hey folks, and I'm back. And sadly, he won't let me build more ships. Alright, let's continue on. Hmm. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting tired. Okay, uh, have to complete an enable mission. Hmm. Interesting. A, um, a horde star was, was spotted uh, around her base, taking her destroyer out and ending. This is new. Uh, you're about to embark on a dangerous mission. If this mission fails, each deployed ship has a chance to be permanently destroyed. Well, that's certainly something. Actually, having a chance of losing. Didn't hear anyone point mention that. So that's you know something. Not much, but it's something. Hey, right, folks. Just had to. Stop my recording again. I'm really worried about something, basically. The mission. Moira's hammer is down. The worst would us into a trap, Commander. I want revenge. Uh, if at first you fail, try again. It looks like the submarine had a bit more firepower than we thought. They used first drive to hit us before we saw it coming. Losing ships is a part of naval battles, Commander. But we were prepared for this, uh, for this exact sort of situation. Speak with Janice down at the dry docks. She would help us quickly produce another destroyer. Get back there when the short ship is complete. With a new mission ready for it. Shouldn't they go with two destroyers? Rather than a, a transport as well? A second destroyer might mean we won't lose everything. Street is solid despite not being so yet. It's kinda of interesting to see it kinda of drawn here. Like, the, like you can kinda of see what like, where it's gonna be like. It's kind of an interesting way of doing it. We find if you could angle like get it such a way, you end up inside it. I wonder what would happen. Since this guy is so far away, I doubt it can happen, but I would find it funny if you could somehow manage it. Wait. Yeah. They just stored a random bit of meat in with some important scrolls that they shouldn't be, you know, stored with. Uh. Ooh. Um. Ural's Command. Uh, Pandaren Crew. Pandaren Crew stash extra supplies on the ships, which helps along missions. And Fell Smoke Launcher. Creates a smoke screen around your ship, blocking line of sight on first strike. Maybe did I got the Yarrow's command? Like uh, this is one that everyone gets because it directly counters first strike. But I'm not sure. 